Hello everyone, welcome back to another couponing video. Um, this is also future Athena because I did not film an intro at all. Basically, it goes straight into me going to the store shopping. I went to buy plant-based beef and then I found some cereal for a cool deal while I was there. So, I'm gonna go just straight in for all the clips of me shopping and then I talk about all the deals I did after. So yeah, enjoy this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe. So I'm in the cereal aisle and I found a really good deal. So these family size boxes are reduced to clear for $3.85. And I'll check a 51, you can get $2.25 back. So it makes a dollar six down each. And my grandma loves these, so I'm gonna bring them to her. I just got back from the grocery store and I always want to film in the grocery store, but there's just so many people. And oh my god, there's people right there. Okay, those people are gone. <laughs> I was like the person literally walking through the door. I was like, that's so awkward. Um, but it's hard to film in the store because there's people there. I'm not trying to film them. It's just also very awkward. So yeah, but I am back from there and I just try to vlog as much as I can in there just because I feel like when people are trying to learn how to coupon, they actually want to see what to do in the store and how to find the deals. Um, so first of all, I looked on Checkout 51 and I saw there's two deals I wanted to do. First of all, I'm vegetarian, so if I ever want to have like plant-based meat, it's so expensive, so I never want to buy it. But today it was on for $6.99 for, I'll show you one of the packs, for one of these packs, which I need, do need to go put in the freezer. These last a little, like a while, so it's nice, you can just put them in the freezer and they're good for a while and they you can make up to like three burgers but you can also make as much as you want you can make meatballs with them you can do whatever you want with them so i bought five of those because you can do it up to five times on check of 51 and it's good to stockpile because those are really expensive type of things so yeah there was a save four dollars doing that so there were 6.99 each and then on check out 51 i will get two dollars back from everything from each one so i guess ten dollars back so it'll be like 25 dollars total in the end it should be and then i just happened to find those um the family pack of special special k vanilla almond and they were on clearance for 385 um and it was more expensive to get like the smaller version so i was like oh okay i get those and then it's 225 back on checkout 51 so so far i've already saved 20 dollars from the card savings and then i'm going to save more when i go home so i'll go through the whole deal with you once i process it through check of 51 and everything okay we are back talk through what happened just in like the last clips because i was just kind of ranting about it and then i also did some deals yesterday that i wanted to share with you but i just wanted to put them all in the same video because i want to do like little like not really a montage but like a collection of a bunch of couponing things because i do actually a lot of like little offers here and there but I just never showcase it because I feel like I need to do a long video, but in reality, I can just like combine them. Um, but there's a lot of cool deals out there these past couple weeks. So yeah, new year, new deals, you know? Um, but let me go over the last deal that we just did, like I did like half an hour ago. Um, so this is what my receipt looks like. There we go. Okay, so each one of these equaled like regular price were $10.99, which is honestly ridiculous for how small this little product is, but that's how it is. Um, and I bought five of those. So if I were to buy these regular price, five of them, it would have been $54.95. And like one of these, you could probably make like three burgers, I'd say, with it, or you can make meatballs, whatever you want. I like getting these because then you have a choice to make whatever you want, put it in tacos, I don't know, whatever you want, rather than just getting the burgers. So that's why I wanted this. But yeah, $54.95 is a bit outrageous, but that's fine. But they were on sale for $6.99, so it was $4 off. So that would have made it, if my math is right. So out of pocket, I paid $34.95 for all five of those which is still, it's not a great price that I don't want to pay, <laughs> but I did. <laughs> and then I go on a Checo 51, which I'm showcasing here, not including the Vector Cereal, that's just there because I really like Vector Cereal, I wanted to find a deal. So t I bought this and this, so I'm going to put that five times, 
and this one twice and then I'm gonna click continue and I'm like okay and now I'm gonna scan my receipt Woo! 14.50 back that is what you want to see <laughs> awesome okay lovely um, doesn't mean it's like actually like approved until like they approve it themselves so I'm really hoping they approve that because that's not a lot of money um, but yeah so you get on checkout 51 right now as I showed you before it was two dollars back for each one of these so times five that would be ten dollars back so instead of paying so instead of paying 34.95 you minus ten dollars there you're paying $24.95 and if you divide that by like 15 burgers it's like $1.66 per burger which honestly is like pretty good because if you think about it if you're gonna go to like a restaurant and just get one of these burgers it's like $24 so like instead of getting like 15 of these and then like whatever extra cost it takes to get like lettuce, cheese, blah 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 so in all Getting five of those for $24.95 is such a good deal and I'm not complaining over that. So that is the good on that. On to the next deal. Deal number two that I did was I was looking in the cereal aisles and I wanted to find Vector cereal, which is why I had that on there. But they didn't have any on sale. It was like $7 and honestly, I'm not paying that even if I have like a dollar rebate, you know, just not, not the vibe. But then I saw these were on sale, on clearance actually. So like check your save on in case they have this it was on it's the family size too the actual smaller one that's like the regular one which is like probably up to here was i think six dollars and this was for 385 on clearance and it doesn't have like like it expires in august so it's not like like literally i'll show you here see august 2023 so it's not like it's about to expire or anything so it's not really a big deal and also usually you can go past the expiry day anyways just saying um but yeah, so there were $3.85 and I noticed I had a rebate for $2.25 back. So I was like, wait a second. <laughs> so if it's $3.85 on sale and then minus $2.25, $1.60 each. Well, that was a good price for a family size box, which is 570 grams, which we're not complaining. Ooh. My checkout 51 just got accepted so i got the 14.50 back for both of those lovely oh something you gotta get excited <laughs> so in total in store i paid 770 for the two of these because i bought two of them i could have bought five let's be honest because they can do the deal five times but i was like you know what there's no point let me just get two we don't eat that crazy amount of it that's the thing you want to buy things that you're actually going to eat and things you actually want to stockpile with rather than just like oh my god it's on sale you know what i mean we don't we don't coupon like that so if i go off of what i have here 54.95 minus 20 dollars and then 770 with the clearance deal plus i earn points earn 132 points no i earned 86 points today which i have no idea how the save on points work so let me know if you know. So in total, it was $42.65 I paid out of pocket for everything. And then I just earned back $14.50. So in total, I paid $28.15 for five impossible burger meats and two of these cereals. So even though it's like you watch these extreme couponing things where people are paying nothing, getting paid under $10. In reality, this whole haul without me actually like, like if I were to buy everything on regular price, it would have been over $70, but instead with couponing and finding when like the best deal is on, I paid $28.15. So <laughs> I almost like hit that. So it's like over a 50% savings and that's what I'm, trying to teach you guys to do because saving money when groceries are so expensive these days with inflation you gotta so that is my little haul for today okay and next i went to thrifties and decided to go crazy <laughs> um so if you didn't know thrifties is doing this promotion right now it's kind of over right now like they stopped giving out these little stickers 
So basically what it is, is they give you stickers for every certain amount of money. For every $10 you spend, you get a little sticker. Sometimes they give you more, it really depends on the day. And you have to fill up, where is it? There it is. You have to fill up these two sheets. You can fill up one side and get like a certain amount of savings and then you only, so say here. I don't know how much these actually cost, like just regular in store. Oh wait, actually I do. <laughs> They're in, I have the receipt. So you can either do two of these and pay like the cheapest amount. You can actually just buy them, not use these things, or you can do one of them and save a certain amount. So this, I got two of these, but one of these comes with two champagne glasses and it costs $29.99. So $30, expensive. But if you were to save this many stickers, 50 stickers, you would only pay $2.99 for this. If you were to save 25 stickers, you only pay $7.99. Already a good savings, as you can tell. So I only paid $2.99 for each of these. So I don't even know how much savings that would be, but in general, it was $60 for the two of them, and I only paid $6 for the two of these. If you were shopping at Thrifties, this is a good deal. And I might get another one, just pay $7.99 for, so that way I have a collection of six of them rather than just four, because I think it's nice to have like a big collection of them. So yeah, that's my little deal for that. But while I was there, I was craving ice cream, so I decided let's go get some ice cream. And they had a deal going on for Ben & Jerry's, where they were $2 off, so they were $5.99 each. But if you bought two, you get 20 air miles, and I'm collecting air miles. So I did that. Um, so yeah, I paid full price, not full price, I guess it's on sale, um, for the ice cream, and then I got 20 miles. And if you didn't know, if you spend $20, you get one air mile. <laughs> it's like literally the worst, but for me, I spent $20, not $20, I spent $11 and I got 20 air miles. So for me, that was really good because that can go towards traveling, towards whatever. Um, so I spent $19.28 was the total for everything here. And then I got 20 miles and that tells me my savings, which is 76% and I saved $58 today. Such a good deal. If you haven't, they do this all the time, like probably once a year, actually, not all the time. So if you ever see this happen, like this is such a good way to save if you want something like new and especially if you want to do your couponing at thrifties and then just like save some money so yeah these are the two deals that i did and yeah i would like to say i saved a lot and it's really awesome and i think you should try doing these things these are just like the little things like i went in for the impossible meat and i came out with some more cereal for really cheap so just always look at your checkout 51 app before the grocery store and then there's like little things that you know you would like, but the Checkout 51 deal isn't like enough for you willing to buy it. Like you'd rather get it even cheaper. Just like go look at it in the store if it's cheaper. Sometimes I use like the actual like apps of the stores. So either I use Flip to look at the flyers or I use the actual apps to look at. Sometimes I use the actual like flyers to look at like Save On, Walmart, whatever apps that there is. Just so that way you can see the deals beforehand and not stress about it in the store running around in circles. Cause I was definitely running around in circles trying to look for that impossible meat cause I couldn't find it. And then I found like the last couple that were remaining. So I'm glad I was able to get that in time. But yeah, that is my deals of the day or I guess of the week. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe cause I will be posting lots more of these this year on how to save money. And yeah, see you next week for another video.